Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Brad. You're watching Firewood at the Furnace. Uh, and today we're going to try to get a little organized here because wood has been coming in nonstop. I've been getting so much wood in the yard recently that I haven't even had time to start processing it. Both trailers are loaded. You can see here I'm standing behind a dump truck. I'm going to tell you the story about how this got here. And we're going to start moving some logs with the skid loader around today. Try to get things out of the way, get some areas opened up. We'll get the 500 out and start bucking up some of this big oak that's laying next to the splitter and uh, just see what we can get done before the storms roll in today. So stick around. So yesterday, uh, my truck was at the shop getting serviced, getting the oil changed, getting the air conditioner fixed because I had no AC in the truck. So compressor locked up on it so they had to put a new AC compressor on the truck. But because I didn't have the truck available, the tree service called and said, hey, we've got a load of white oak and locusts for you today. And I said, well, I'm kind of out of luck because the truck is in the shop and I can't come get it. Chaz said, no problem. I'll take the dump truck over to the job and I'll have the guys load up the firewood logs on the dump truck for you. And then either tonight or tomorrow morning, you can stop by the yard, grab the dump truck, take it over to your place and drop off the wood. So that's what I did this morning. I got up early, I went up to his place, I grabbed the dump truck. I just got here to the yard with it and I need to make some room to dump this wood. Like I said, both of the dump trailers are loaded with wood. So I've got to make some room to get the dump trailers unloaded and to get this wood off the dump truck so I can get it back to his, his yard in case the guys need it for today's jobs. Uh, but what, I've, what I'm going to do is just have the grapple on a skid loader. We'll dump these logs and rather than having them kind of spread out all over the place, uh, we'll try to get organized and stack them up uh, in a central location. And then when I'm ready for them, I can just carry them over to the splitter. So that's the plan today. I'm going to get the, uh, the trailers moved out of the way here, get the skid loader running, and we'll start moving some wood. So here's the plan. I've already got the dump truck moved over there, away from, away from the work area. I've got one dump trailer pulled up out of the way. The other dump trailer is still sitting here, but I think it'll be okay where it's sitting. My plan is to take all this oak, pick it up, and try to move it over here, basically on top of this oak because that's the wood that's gonna get processed first. This apple is still laying here. I'm gonna move this apple over, basically probably like near where the splitter's sitting now. I'll move the splitter over a little bit further. Um, but what I've also done is I've moved all the totes from the end of that row over there. I've kind of lined them up along the camper here because this is a lot of bundle wood, uh, things like that. So it's gonna be here near the bundle station now. And then I moved a lot of logs that were in the pile where the skid loader's sitting. I've moved them over where the IBC totes were and started stacking those up over there. So just trying to open up some space a little bit because I do have some orders of wood going out and I can't get the truck in here to load the trailer with all this wood laying here. So that's what I'm gonna do. The skid loader's running. Uh, I'm gonna make a little hole to get through here to get to this oak and we'll try to move this up out of the way. So now I've got a hole here to dump and uh, I can back the trailer in here and easily get to these logs and move them out of the way as well.
Well, now that load's moved out of the way, I guess I've kind of started something new. I guess I now have a log storage area. Uh, it's not something I've done before. I've always tried to keep the loads close to the splitter. That way when I buck them up, I can roll them right to the splitter and put them in the trailer up the conveyor. Uh, but with the amount of wood that's laying here now, I got to get stuff out of the way and I'll have to bring it to the splitter as I need it. So I'm going to get the dump truck backed in here now and we'll get that load off of it right there. There's another load on the ground. This is quite the big white oak log here. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how big it is from the camera or not, so I'll get up here in front of it so you can see it. That's quite big. This little bit of purple here has me a little bit concerned. That normally indicates some metal might be in the wood, but I don't see anything there. But More wood on the ground. Now the task is to get the dump truck back to the tree service because I know they're on a pretty big job today and they might need this later on in the day once they get the wood on the ground. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna run it back up to their shop and then we'll come back and start bucking up some of this oak that's laying closest to the splitter. Mom's over there weed eating right now around the wood piles. She likes to keep the grass cut. Always looks good around here. But anyway, I don't know if you heard what she said there before I started cutting this wood, this, this log here. Uh, but when she saw what I was getting ready to do, she said, you better get a bigger saw. I said, what? And she said, you need a bigger saw. I just kind of chuckled because apparently she doesn't know about the 500i. <laughs> I think she meant she thought I was going to need a longer bar, which a longer bar there, a couple more inches would have been helpful, but I just ro I had to roll the log anyway, so I finished up the cut after I rolled it over, but I thought that was pretty comical. Let's uh, keep cutting on this pile.
All right, so that's the end of that. That's gonna be it. As far as cutting for the day goes, uh, all that big oak there is piled up next, right on, right at the splitter. So we won't have to move that too far. All the oak from the second load that we piled on top of the first load is bucked up as well. There was a couple sticks in there that were punky in the center, so I got rid of them. They're on the uh, empty trailer to be hauled off. Then this here is the white oak and the few sticks of locust that we just dumped off the dump truck this morning. Get to that another day. But uh, as you can see, we are ready for a splitting session here coming up real soon. And before we wrap this up, I wanna talk to you real quick and uh, ask you for some prayers real quick. So I was talking to Chaz on the phone there a few minutes ago and uh, telling him that I have created a log pile storage area or a, a log storage area for the very first time. And he kind of chuckled and said, you know, you're gonna need some logs for the fellowship day this, this winter anyway. So it might be good to keep a pile there. I hope this pile is processed and gone before winter gets here, uh, at least stacked up and seasoning for next year or hauled off to a green customer. But uh, that is something I need to keep in the back of my mind to kind of keep some wood here for the fellowship day uh, so everybody can have a good time. But anyway, the reason I wanted to ask you for some prayers is I'm not sure if you heard in the background of the video earlier or not, but uh, there was a lot of sirens going on, a lot of fire equipment, emergency equipment going by the house today. And I stopped the video earlier and was checking my phone on my fire department app and I saw the address on where the call was and immediately my heart started pounding a little bit faster because I knew that that address was right near Jack there at Log Cabin Firewood. So I called him right away and I said, Jack, what's going on, buddy? And he said, it's his neighbor's house. So uh, I knew it was nearby there. Just keep his neighbor in your thoughts and prayers. It sounded like it was pretty bad. I don't believe anybody was hurt or anything like that, but it's some pretty significant property damage there. So keep Jack and his neighbor in your thoughts and prayers. I'm sure he'll have maybe some on that over on his channel there. So that's all I wanted to mention. I hope everybody has a great week. Don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, all that good stuff. We appreciate you all being here. And until next time, have a great week.